hello guys welcome to a new video in a new video series as well so we are i'm now going to be concentrating i'm trying to get my big ip f5 101 certification and then after that i'm i want to go after the um big ip f5 um, 201 certification and i recently passed my the ccmp anchor and i want to just um take a break from it um, because what I want to go for next is going to be the um, NRC, TCMP NRC, but I want to take a break and learn um, Big IP F5 and get my certifications there so I can continue with the TCMP NRC. So what I'm going to be doing, I already have this lab set up, but I haven't configured the Big IP device. And right now I'm using Even G Pro. Um, so here's my topology in Even G Pro, and I haven't configured anything. So on the management interface, I have it connected to this network over here. And this network, if you go to edit, it is a management Cloud Zero. And what basically Cloud Zero does is that it connects to my local network. So what I want to do is I want to give this big ip management interface a a ip address on my local network so then i can access it from my browser from this computer that is also connected to the same local network so let's go ahead and start um, i already have the console over here for the big ip i need to log in with the default credentials which is root and the password is default, I believe. Yep, there we go. So now it's going to ask you, or it's going to force you to change your password because you are using the default password. We go ahead and enter a new password. Oh, I don't know what happened. Okay, there we go. Root, default. So you are required. Okay, I need to enter the current password. And then I enter the new password. There we go. Cool. So you can see that I'm not licensed yet. So we're going to do later after I configure, um, after I configure this, uh, oops, what happened? After I configure uh, the IP address for the management interface. Um, so what you first need to do is that you want to go into config and config over here should um, give us the option to configure uh, an IP address for the management interface. Um, it should take, there we go. So it's basically a, the configuration utility. So do you want to select IPv4, IPv6, IPv4, and let's give it a second and like i said before this one is going to be for the management port setup and the management port right now like i said before it is connected to my oh you can see that it, it already got a dhcp ip address from my local network it has a default route and all of that so if you want to keep that that's fine but if you want to have, have a different one i want to have a different one so let's say no I want to add the 182.168.0.29. Something that matches good. The current route is going to be the 0 one which is good. Management route. Okay. And here it is, default route. So looking good. So let's press yes over here. And after it is configured, after it saves the configuration, I should be able to now get to the uh, the web GUI. Let's see. Looks like it's not done yet, but let me move this over here. Let's try to go to, it needs to be HTTPS. That's zero, that's 29. And here we are. We go to events, 
we're going to accept the risk and continue. And now we need to log in with the username. The username for this one is going to be the admin. And I believe the default is admin. So admin, admin. No, maybe it is admin and the password that I set up for the root. There we go. So it is the same password that I set up for the root now. Let's say never. The now I'm saying that my password has expired. Cool. Even though I set it up a couple of minutes ago. It's based on a dictionary word. Hmm. Let's see this one. I just want to set to one that I can remember. Save. Is it going to take that one? Yep. Awesome. So it took that one. There we go. So now we are in. And as you can see, it's really cool because I'm using even G, my even G. Um, I'm connecting that management interface to my basically to my local network. It's basically like if I'm plugging in to my local switch here or to my modem here at home. And when we first got in there, it, it already had an IP address of that 32, but I wanted to set up a static one so I know that it wasn't going to change. And it was also in a wrench that I set up that it is not going to, it's outside of the DHCP scope for my local network. And that's why I set it up to this one because it's outside of my local network. Cool. So now, um, what else do we have? Um, we are in here. If you want to, you can set up the utility. But what I want to do is I want to go ahead and activate the license and you can activate the and you can get a 30 day license. If you log in or create an account at a five F five.com try slash trials. And from here you can get a free trial. I already did that, but you first um, need to create an account with them. And after you create an account and you, uh, you know, get the the 30 day license that you want, uh, they're going to mail it to you. It, they're going to email it to you. Let's see if I'm in the right one. Um, 30 day trial license uh, for big IP virtual editions. I'm going to add that to the description below. Uh, let's see. So yeah, it's going to ask you to log in. So you go, if you don't have an account, you can go ahead and create an account log in and get that um, trial they're going to email it to you i already have my trial license so what we're going to do is we are going to go to activate and you're going to add the base registration key you're going to add it over here let's see if i can pull it up with my email um, and it's a 30-day trial license um let's see if i can find it there we go f5 networks so it's going to come from f5 networks copy going to paste it over here and if you want to do a manual manual method meaning like if you don't have a connection to the network to the outside network you can just do it manually but if you have a connection, it would just do it automatically. Since a lot of people do not usually have access to access to the internet, to their um, to the F5 client, whenever you're doing it in a live environment, I'm going to show you how to do it with the manual way. So you're going to select manual, and then click next. It's going to take a second because it's going to create um, another key. And that key we are going to enter it on a website that they're going to give us in a second hopefully it doesn't take too long let's see how long it takes there you go it took like five minutes so it's going to give you this we want to copy it and we want to go to access a licensing um, server we are going to paste it in here click next and this basically is going to give us 
this um, license key. You can even download it if you want it, but I'm just going to copy it and I'm going to paste it in here. Next, and that should um, basically register or give us that trial, the 30 day trial version. Um, so let's go ahead and probably it's gonna take five more minutes or so. So I'm going to post this video. And here we go. This what um, this time it only took like three minutes, uh, so that's good. We're gonna go and continue, and now you can see that it is um, online and it's active. And now we have access to um, to basically everything. Uh, you can see the disk is already at 24 gigabytes. You can see the memory that it's using, and you can see the CPU um, that it's also using. So this is it for this video guys um, I hope you guys enjoy this video and like I said I'm going to I'm going to be working focusing on the big IPF5 um, so I can um, get a, another certification which is going to be the um, big IPF5 uh, 101 and then after that I want to go for the 201 certification for the big IPF5 client so therefore I'm going to be adding a lot of videos on the big IP and then after I, I achieve all my certifications in the big IP I'm going to return back to the CCMP and RC and it's going to be a lot of cool um, videos that I'm going to be creating thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next one bye bye